No bullshit, let's get right into the video. I do have to give a shout out to the people who suggested this map in the last video. I will be starting on the first floor in Biker's apartment. All you want to do is jump on this, that little drawer and then you will jump up on this fan. Which already this is so easy to get to and it's a pretty good spot because you have a good view of the room. But I like to go a little higher just so my drone's a little safer and jump up to, on to the object to my left. Now when you're here you're going to have a higher view of the room and I just feel like this makes my drone safer and less obvious. Anyway on to the next clip. Alright now going outside, uh, people may know this but people also may not. It's not really helpful <laughs> but uh, it's definitely interesting. What you want to do is repel up to this little roof right here and you'll see this little vent. You can actually throw nades down this or any type of little object besides drones. You only can throw drones at it, which is actually kind of weird. I wish they added so you get their nades down there. But there's also another one on the other side of the roof, which we'll get to next. Alright, now onto the one I was just talking about. All you want to do is repel up to the roof. And uh, these drone, these spots aren't really like helpful. You don't really get a good view. It's just you get your drone in there. But uh, what they're, I guess what they're made for maybe, or just... Here's an idea of how you can use it. It's good if just say this room is muted off and you can't get your drone in there. Just throw it down the hatch and uh, your drone will be in there. And you'll have eyes inside the room. I wish they did make it so you're able to throw grenades down there. I don't think it'll be too overpowered because there's Jaeger. But I don't know why they didn't do it. And plus this one actually enters a really important room. So uh, I feel like it would have been a very big game changer if they added that. Anyway, on to the next clip. Alright, heading over to the weed room, you're going to jump on the sink, you're going to jump on this cabinet, and you're going to jump on the blue tarp that's hanging from the roof. One of my favorite drone spots in the map because it's so easy to hide from somebody if they see your drone, and it's just an easy way to look around the whole room. Also, it's a very easy spot to get to. Anyway, on to the next clip. Alright, now on the second floor in the meth lab, you're going to want to jump on this cabinet and then on the shelves. And I actually missed the jump, but you can just jump on this fan and then jump on the shelves. Unless you want to stay on this fan, but my personal favorite is the fan across the room. Just because they already expect your drone to be there because it's obviously crowded. So having your drone over here is definitely not one of the spots they will look first. That's all you have to do. It's very easy. And uh, anyway, on to the next clip. Now on the first floor in Ant's apartment, you just want to jump on this chair and then jump on this fan. A lot of fan drone spots, but you know, why not? So when you jump on this fan... So you're just going to sit on here, but you actually can do more than just sit on this fan. You can jump over this chandelier, but I like just sitting on the fan personally. But all you need to do is jump on the chandelier, and then from here, you can move around or even jump on this little cupboard. Like this. And that's it. Anyway, very easy, and uh, on to the next clip. Alright, now we're in a uh, football bedroom on the second floor. And uh, all you need to do is jump on those cabinets and jump on this door. And whenever you get spotted, just fall back in the door. And there's, the door should be broken, so you can just dip out of the bottom. But uh, if you don't like that spot, then you always can jump back on these cabinets. Like this. And then up on the fan. What do you know? Another fan spot. And uh, once you get up here, again, you just have a pretty good view of the whole room. Anyway, on to the next clip. Alright, now heading over to football office. All you want to do is jump on that chair and jump on that little AC fan. And now when you're on the fan, you're going to have a view of the whole little room. And uh, I like this one because people won't think your drone will be here. They'll think it's over there with all the other clutter near the cupboard. And uh, yeah, anyway, on to the next clip. Last but not least, the biker's bedroom. All you need to do is jump on this bomb and jump on the fan. But uh, my personal favorite spot in this one is jumping on the bomb and then jumping into the hole in the cabinets above like this. Cause just because it gives us pretty much the same view of the room, but just a little more protection. Anyway, on to the next clip. Alright, this really isn't like a, a tip, it's just like a suggestion. Uh, I suggest highly that you destroy this laundry room whenever you're attacking, because not a lot of people reinforce it. Because not a lot of people actually use it to their ability. But it's a very easy way to get into the laundry room and take over the bottom floor. Anyway, on to the next clip. Alright, now this is actually a really good tip to uh, take over armory room and uh, you can do it with buck but actually I prefer sledge just because it's quieter but you can do it with a buck all you need to do is head over to the little vault room and uh, make a little hole in the left corner you would actually do this on attacking so you would be outside doing it to go in but I'm going to show you right here if it's not reinforced obviously and uh, this this little wall is on the uh, exit access alley and then you just want to come in here and what I like about this is it's a very simple clean way to get into the uh, vault room without them noticing you. 
Alright, anyway, on to the next clip. For those who try to spawn kill and cannot, I'm going to show you a better way to spawn kill on rooftops. Do not go to this window. Please, everybody knows about it. Unless you're playing casual, then you go ahead. But all you actually want to do is go to the kids' room, go crouch in this corner, and hit the wall a couple times. Make sure it's not too big. Just like this is perfect, and then you'll have a pretty good view on it. Let me show you from their perspective now. Alright, now from their perspective, as you can see, just from as soon as getting up the ladder, you already can tell that window is open. Look how, look how obvious that is. But look, you try to look really hard. You cannot see the hole I made. You cannot see it at all. That's why I highly suggest you do that. And uh, also, big thing, you got to make sure it's nighttime. Because if it is daytime, you're going to do exactly what I do. You're going to come here, think you're going to get a nice spawn kill. And hit some couple holes, you're going to be blinded as hell, so you're going to get your C4 and just going to kill yourself. Anyway, on to the next clip. Alright, just a little quick thing I would like to point out, nothing too crazy. I uh, just want to say that you can actually shoot through couches and beds on this map, so don't really rely on them for being great cover. As you can see, as I shoot through this bed, the bullets are going to go right through it and actually damage the wall behind it. So do not really, I mean, obviously you can sit behind them, but just don't depend on them for being completely bulletproof. Anyway, on to the next clip. Now for my favorite tip. I love this tip so much that, uh, I love it. So, uh, you're going to want to just, you know, chill. You know how you chill over here when the objective's over here? Just say you're Pulse or Valkyrie. You're going to start spraying through this wall when you know. Or you have Astro A90,000s on, and you just hear them coming. You're just going to spray through there. You're going to kill them. They're going to message you and say, why are you hacking? They're going to report you, and then uh, you're just going to laugh. You're going to get diamond. You're going to come back to this video, comment down below saying, thank you for making me, you know, a god. And then, yeah. Anyway, on to the next clip. Actually, I found another way you can spawn kill uh, rooftops. That's really not common. You might be thinking I'm crazy, but trust me, nobody would ever expect to come here. Just go to the third soccer player. Make sure you hit his elbow. And uh, when you do that, you're going to have an easy uh, sight right where they spawn. So they're obviously going to be looking at that window, or they're not going to be looking at all. And you're just going to be able to pick them up. Anyway, on to the next clip. All right, now I have found a juicy bomb plant. So for you bomb players, or mostly competitive or ranked, you just play bomb. All you want to do is hop on this DJ, plant the bomb right in the middle of the DJ, and once you do this, you actually want to dip out. Well, obviously, you would throw smoke or have a teammate watch you as you do this. I prefer smoke because you can't trust teammates unless you're with the party. But once you do that, you just want to dip down, come behind this dumpster, sit your little ass down, and uh, yeah, sit your ass down, and then look perfect look they're never gonna get you unless you know they're like this guy all friendlies were eliminated mission failure <laughs> so so if you're not playing against him trust me you have nothing to worry about anyway on to the next clip all right next bomb spot i have for you guys is going to be in the crack house i mean <laughs> your crack room and uh, you're going to want to plant it in the middle of the table. There's more stuff up here, but my fat ass knocks some stuff down. But it doesn't matter. And uh, they probably won't find it unless you give, unless like they kill you right off the bat after you plant it. And they have a lot of time to look for it. But uh, even if you do, just make some holes in the walls if they're not already broken. For some of your teammates to look outside on the edge. Alright, anyway, on to the next clip. Alright, I have another spawn killing spot for uh, the spawn school alley. And all you need to do is go to football bedroom lay prone make a big pretty decent sized hole like I'm doing right here because of the sharp angle once you see the, like, the little alley that they run down with their gun down ooh, run down with the gun down anyway when they run down this alley most of the time they're running so the guns pointed down and you're gonna be able to pick them off you just need a better sight than this little piece of shit but uh yeah anyway on the next clip another small killing spot for rooftops all you need to do is go to the bikers apartment and destroy this door if it is nighttime though, you only need to make a hole because you won't have that extremely bright glare. But since it's daytime, all you need to do is peek out a little bit. And if you go too far out like this, just come back in a little bit until it says no more. And then you should be pretty good to go. They won't expect you to look here because they're looking at the window. Or they're looking from a, any different spot that you killed them from last time. Anyway, on to the next clip. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to know when I'm posting a video before I even post it, make sure you follow me on Twitter. And follow me on Twitch so you don't miss a live stream. Also, check out my recent montage video. Because all you need to do is comment down below your favorite clip or your best clip. And it will be in the next montage.
And I just want to say I hope everybody has a great Thanksgiving. And if you're not watching this on Thanksgiving, then uh, have a great day. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also make sure you do like the video. But uh, if you did not like the video, for whatever reason, make sure you still hit it with a like. Because uh, why not?